Hello! Today I will show you how to create your own gradients in GIMP 2.8. Open GIMP and create a new file 600 by 400 pixels. Now take Blend tool. In two options click on Gradient, then click on the first icon at the bottom on the right. Now click on the Create a new gradient icon. Right click on the line at the bottom of the gradient. Select Split segment at midpoint. Now click on the left part of the line to activate it. Right click, select left and points color. Now select color red as you see on the screen. Right click again, select right and points color. Now select the yellow color you see on the screen. Now select the other side of the gradient by clicking on the right side of the line. Right click, select left and points color. Now select the yellow color you see on the screen. Right click again, select right and points color. Now select orange color with the number on the screen. Give a name to your gradient. And now click on the save icon to save it. Our gradient is ready to be demonstrated. Pull the gradient from the top to the bottom and voila! Now you know how to create custom gradients in GIMP 2.8. But there is another thing I want to show you which is how to create a gradient with transparency. I'm going to repeat the steps here just to remind you how we created a new gradient. In the gradient editor, right click on the line at the bottom of the gradient, select split segment at midpoint. Now click on the left part of the line to activate it. Right click, select left and points color. Select yellow color and move the slider of the alpha channel to the left until it shows zero. Right click again, select right and points color. Now select yellow color with zero transparency. Now select the other side of the gradient by clicking on the right side of the line. Right click, select left and points color. Select the yellow color with zero transparency again. Right click, select right and points color. Now select the yellow color with transparency we created before. By the way, you can move the sliders to the right and to the left, which helps to create desired results. And also you can change the way of blending by selecting blending function for segment. And there are five different options. First is linear, is for smooth color transition. Second is curved, gradient varies more quickly on ends than in the middle. The next one is sinusoidal, their color changes quicker in the middle. After that we have spherical, where gradient varies more quickly on the left of the range than on its right. And the last one is spherical decreasing, where gradient varies more quickly on the right than on the left. You can choose different blending modes for different sides. And even after that you can move the sliders to create your desired result. Now I'm going to give a name to my new gradient and save it. In tool options I'm setting the shape of the gradient to radial. And now let's have a look at the effect. 
with this gradient we can make this kind of glowing circles which can be used to make an abstract background for example. That's it, hope you learned something new today with me. Thanks for watching and leave a comment if you liked it.